it's like a chemical peel in a bottle and then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and get this cleanser off my face um, my favorite niacinamide but smaller pores clearer skin and just clearing my head of pigmentation and I just take one out channel if this is your first time stopping by or clicking on one of my videos a round of applause for you welcome 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 yeah my name is Fathia and I make lifestyle beauty and self-development content here on my youtube channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family if you clicked on this video you're probably interested in skincare or you're interested in learning more about how to do your skincare at night or you're very much interested in how to layer your skincare, meaning you're interested in learning in what sequence you should apply your skincare product. You clicked on the perfect video and I cannot wait to take you through the process of how I'm currently enjoying doing my nighttime skincare routine. Now let's jump into the body of this video and the reason you're here. I'm gonna be doing my nighttime skincare routine. I'm showing you exactly what I do. I know it doesn't look like it, but in the last two weeks, my skin has actually been through the most. I know it doesn't look like it, so let me just stop. You can explain, 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 Taya. No evidence, but I swung into action and, and I'm probably gonna make a different video, you know, taking you through what I did. My skin was looking tired. I was seeing visible fine lines and my hyperpigmentation, all of my old spots seemed to like, have been re-energized and they were so visible and I was so lost and I didn't know what to do. But if you're interested in seeing a video of me taking you through what I did then, comment below and I will make sure to film a detailed video on what I did to take my skin from that to this. I know it's a good skin mug, let's not jinx it. I don't have any um, makeup on my face but I have some sunscreen on my face so I'm gonna do my, I used this in the shower so I had to go grab it but um, I have some sunscreen on my face and so I'm gonna be doing this dip cleansing oil from DHC to just break down all the gunk on my face. Um, I don't count the pumps, but I think I'm just gonna do like two to three pumps. This is very um, good and concentrated. I'm just gonna slather that on my face. What this does, it just breaks down all the grease and gets in your pores and cleans out your pores. Um, I bought a I'm gonna have all of the products that I'm gonna be using in this video linked below, but I'm just working this deep cleansing oil into my face now. It's just gonna break down all of the gunk, and because it's oil based, it's also gonna target dead skin cells. Always show your neck some love, guys. Always show your neck some love. I'm just gonna do that for about 10 to 20 seconds and I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off now, and then we're going to actually then proceed to cleanse it. I forgot to put these on, they come in very handy so water is not running down your hands like so but I forgot to put them on but because I'm still going to be washing my face anyways I'm going to go ahead and put those on. I'm not going to be wiping my face right now because I want to make sure that I'm applying my cleanser on damp skin. This is the cleanser that I'm going to be going for tonight. Focus, focus, focus. It is the Narturium Niacinamide Cleansing Gelay. It is 3% Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C, all the good stuff. This three to four pumps is more than enough. Two pumps actually can get the job done. This is what it looks like. This is the consistency. It is like a um, clear gel consistency. While my face is still wet, I'm going to work this into a lather in my palms. And because my face is still wet, I don't need to wet my face on. I'm going to work this into my skin. When you're washing your face, you want to be washing and cleansing, whatever you want to call it. But you want to be at this for at the very least 20 seconds. And the reason for that is, especially when you're using cleansers that have actives like niacinamide, salicylic acid, vitamin C, you want to give the actives some time to get in there and do what they're supposed to do. So 
when you're washing, when you're using like a basic cleanser, you should do that too. But especially when you're working with something that has actives, you want to be at it for at least 20 seconds. So I'm just working this into my face, washing my face and getting all the extra dirt off that my deep cleansing oil couldn't get off. And I'm giving the niacinamide some time to do its business on my skin. You want to also, if you're oily or a combination like me, or even if you have dry skin, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to all of the all of your problem areas. My most problematic area on my face is my T-zone, that's my nose, and all over here on my forehead, sometimes on my chin, but barely ever. So I probably have been washing for a good amount of time now. I'm winding down with the washing, and then I'm going to proceed to rinse this um, cleansing gel off of my face. Take your time when you're washing your face, my loves. It makes all of the difference, let me tell you. I can tell you that for sure. It makes all the difference. We are done washing and then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and get this cleanser off my face. I don't know if I was just really careful or this cleanser actually doesn't stink because I'm able to open my eyes with the cleanser on my face and still be talking to you guys. Now let's wash the cleanser off my face. I like to use cold water to wash my face. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but I feel like, you know, just like giving your face an ice bath, it helps with your pores. If you have enlarged pores, definitely consider washing your face with cold water. I know it's difficult in the winter days, but washing your face with cold water, I feel like has made a lot of difference for me. Let me do more research and find out if that's a thing, because I'm not sure. I just like to do it, and I feel like it does something for my pores. Let's talk about drying your face. Never, under any circumstance, use your body towel to dry your face. That goes without saying because it holds bacteria from when you're cleaning your body. I used to use paper towel, but I found that that left like little bits of, you know, particles from the paper towel in my face. And I also used to use like, you know, a pack of Amazon Basics face towels on my face. I stopped using those for no apparent reason, maybe because I didn't want to keep adding to my pile of laundry. What I'm currently using to wash my face is this biodegradable face cloth, and these are so fantastic. I was lucky to find them at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for a box of 50 for $7.99. I want this to focus, yeah, a box of 50 for $7.99. They had three boxes and I took them all. I know there's another um, variation of this on Amazon that's a bit more expensive for the same amount of 50. I'm gonna go ahead and link that below in case you're interested. But if you have a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx near you, for the UK people, I know that there's an equivalent for TJ Maxx that's TK Maxx, you might find it there. Don't take my word for it, but just check it out and try and find it there. And this is what it looks like. And I just take one out and I dry my face and I dispose it. It's a plus that these are biodegradable, I love that. We're saving the earth. But it's very thick, very, very thick. And, you know, it gets the job done and I'm left with no particles. I love these so much. This is my first box. I do have two more boxes in my closet and I'm hoping to continue to find them as I visit TJ Maxx and Marshalls very often. So I'm hoping to find it every time I go there so I can stock up. But this is what we're looking like right now. And moving on, because I'm gonna be doing retinol tonight, I am going to be doing a very gentle cleanser. This is the cleanser I'm gonna be using. I'm opting for, because I'm gonna be doing retinol tonight, I'm opting for a very gentle cleanser. This is my cleanser of choice. And yeah, it's very simple and clean and it doesn't tingle or anything. So I'm cutting rounds to get the work done. I take these off right now because I'm no longer dealing with water. I'm just gonna saturate the cutting rounds with this. And I'm going to wipe my face gently. When you double cleanse, the chances are very slim that you, your um, cotton round or cotton wool, whatever you use, will be picking up any excess dirt from your face because 
After a double cleansing, the chances are you've already gotten most of the gunk that needs to leave your face. This cleanses you without stripping you and yeah. And this is what we have. Some gunk, but I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure that we're good. We are done with the toner. I'm about to put you guys onto something. What I'm about to share with you is a skin conditioner. It's by a brand called Naturi. It's Korean skincare, so Korean, skin, Korean skincare for the win. I think I found this on Instagram Reels where this young Korean girl was asking her mom what she did for such glowy skin at it's at so 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 age. And I checked it on Amazon and it was a ridiculous it wasn't a ridiculous price, but I just wasn't ready to spend that amount of money on something that I didn't really know about. Fast forward to the day that I found the face cloths at Marshalls. I found this at the most amazing price. I think it was like $8 for a bottle. Focus, focus. Yes, I found this at Marshalls and I bought two bottles. Yes, I bought two bottles. I like to do that. This is a fantastic skin conditioner. I, before now, I didn't know what a skin conditioner was, okay? I had no idea what a skin conditioner was, but this does what it claims to do. It actually keeps your skin conditioned i.e. moisturized for the longest amount of time. But I've been using this for a week and every time I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror, I am glistening. And I think that this has a very, very big part to play. You can go ahead and put it on your palms and just pat it into your face. But I, because I don't want to use my palms today, I'm just going to use a cut and round again, to saturate this. And it's a very big bottle as well for $8, I'll take it. <laughs> it's on Amazon as well, although it's not $8 on Amazon, but I'm gonna have it linked below for you as well in case you're interested, but take it from me when I tell you that this thing conditions your skin. Like I moisturize all day, all day long. So we're gonna do this with the skin moisturizer. I tend to, skin conditioner rather, I tend to get dry on my chin so I, and my forehead, so I like to concentrate on my chin with this and then also right here, like in the perimeter here of my forehead, I get so dry and flaky there sometimes. And so we're done with the skin conditioner. The next step is, tonight I'm gonna be, like I mentioned earlier, tonight I'm gonna be doing retinol. It's a retinol night for me. This is one of the things that has saved my ass. Retinol is one of the things that has saved my ass in the last two weeks when my, when my skin was acting up. Now, I've used retinol before, expensive retinol from one of the high-end brands, but I found this retinol, okay? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's skincare is very, very high-key, like potent. I have the hyaluronic acid too, and I'm gonna be using that tonight. But this retinol from Trader Joe's is fantastic. And depending on what kind of skin you have, expect to peel a little bit, it's like, a chemical peel in a bottle. I'm not kidding. Expect to peel like for like the first two weeks, but once you're done peeling, I think they call this the retinol uglies. Once the retinol uglies are over, expect this glow. So I'm going to be using a tiny bit of that on my forehead, on both of both sides of my face, and a tiny bit on my chin to extend to my neck. This is 0.3% retinol and I cannot tell you enough good things about this. You have to try it from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna work that into my chin gently and give my neck some love. And then I'm going to work that into, I'm going to be um, skipping my T-zone area. This area of my face is very, very tender and tends to get irritated easily. So you have to learn your skin know your skin and know what your skin likes and what your skin can tolerate so i'm not going to be putting this everywhere i'm going to be putting this in the perimeter of my face and i'm going to be skipping the areas of my face that i consider to be sensitive and we're done applying the retinol we're just going to pat it in and just make sure that it's sitting pretty on the skin the next step for tonight will be niacinamide. This is the niacinamide that I'm currently using and loving. It is in fact my favorite, um, my favorite niacinamide so far. 
Niacinamide is supposed to make your pores appear smaller, make your face tight, give you like a bit of a facelift, amongst many other things, all control minimize pores and production of sebum. This one is from Cosrx. It's, this bottle is so pretty. And outside of the look of the bottle, guys, this is magic in a bottle. We're gonna go in with the niacinamide on my forehead and on both of sides of my face. And of course, we're gonna give my chin some work. That's gonna extend to my neck. And we're just going to work this in. This is where I have the biggest pores. So definitely, like right here is where I have the biggest pores. So definitely it's gonna be getting some love. Like my pores are significantly smaller and I've only been using this for two weeks at the very most. Again, I was lucky I found it in the skincare um, shelves at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of the two. I always go to those two places because I always score nice things. So I bought this for $16 a bottle and I bought three bottles because that's all they had. It's a little bit more expensive but not outrageous on Amazon. Let's take a moment to appreciate this glow, okay? Now that we're done with the niacinamide, my hyaluronic acid from Trader Joe's, this Trader Joe's, they got it right with skincare. I don't know how, but they got it really, really well. They got it right with skincare. This hyaluronic acid is, imagine a combination of the skin conditioner and this hyaluronic acid. Imagine like just, when I use this, I don't use the snail mucin because I feel like they do the same thing. So when I've, since I've been using this, my snail mucin has just been sitting on the shelves. Get into it, get into it, get into it. <laughs> But the way that this just glides and locks in all the moisture, it's just beautiful. Your neck, guys, get into your neck. Give your neck some love so that everything blends in and everything looks like good. Just as good as your face. It's nighttime, so no um, sunscreen, but the last step for tonight will be my moisturizer. This is what I'm gonna be moisturizing with tonight it's a fantastic moisturizer it's also korean skincare and it's vegan it's a fantastic moisturizer my husband has been stealing this and using it every day this is how it came i don't know if it comes like in a different way but it came in like this box and it's a pack of two so there's another bottle in here that we're wet that we're there's another bottle in here that we're yet to cup in here that we're yet to use pack of two it's called angel aqua you can definitely find this on amazon but i scored this again at um tj maxx for seven dollars and i looked up and i looked up reviews and it had fantastic reviews and i'm definitely currently testifying to all of those amazing reviews this is what it looks like it's kind of like the cosrx um snail cream the one in the cup and it's also like the similar not like because this is fantastic it's also similar to the neutrogena moisture gel moisture boost and this is what the consistency is like this is what it looks like focus 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 yeah this is what it looks like and it just gets the job done okay oh and it's so cooling it feels like i'm putting like cold gel on my face it's so cooling and soothing and if you had any tingles from like the retinol or the niacinamide before it just neutralizes everything and just cools it down i'm giving my neck some love because i'm practicing what i'm preaching <laughs> this brings us to the end of all of my beautiful steps that i have to show you guys for nighttime skincare it definitely varies depending on what you're dealing with you can change it you know depending on what products what products you have. You don't have to go out and buy all new products because you've come across this video on YouTube that's suggesting some products to you. But if you don't already have skincare that you're using, these are really, really nice products that are inexpensive that you can start with, okay? Um, I don't think that I missed anything, but um, I definitely enjoyed filming this. I'm gonna put some aqua for my lips because that's like a ritual for me especially at night because I wake up with like bouncy lips aquaphor yeah get you some aquaphor and use that okay and I'll put an aquaphor on my lips well this brings us to the end of the video I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it let's talk about skincare goals in the comments my current skincare goals are obviously clearer skin clear all of my hyperpigmentation there's no perfect skin but I do have some hyperpigmentation still going on here 
but smaller pores, clearer skin, and just clearing my head of pigmentation are some of my top level skincare goals. Let's talk about skincare goals in the comment section. If this was your first time seeing invite and you watched the video up to this point, just go ahead and click that subscribe button, okay? You love me, I know, and I love you right back. And until my next video, toodles.